Can I say what? Are you blurry? Or? I'm blurry. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Is this in focus? Yeah, it's in focus. You're right in focus. There. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> what are we talking about? This week, we're moving to a new Airbnb. Obviously, we have a little bit of a different background here. I'll show you around in a bit. But if you stick around till the end, we're going to do a big announcement. I'm very excited. Stick around. Yeah, that's that's how that's it goes. Probably want to start by talking about why did we move to a different Airbnb? What happened? Well, so we've been in Utah for three months and initially when we planned this trip, we were like, okay, we'll live in one Airbnb for three months, no big problem. And um, Nick was in charge of finding our accommodations here in Utah. Which I should not have been in charge of booking anything for this trip. No, and from here on forward, you guys will see that I kind of took over making sure and double checking all of our accommodations for certain reasons. But yeah. thankfully it kind of worked out that our second Airbnb did not work out because the first one that we were in for two months was good, everything went great. Um, we were supposed to stay in the second Airbnb for a month. We got a message pretty much last minute. We, I think we had like one week left. It was a week before, yeah. Before we were supposed to move into this other place and they told us a pipe burst all the cabinets were ruined and like it was not good not livable so we had to like basically panic find another place uh through airbnb what was the experience well first that of all we had? i like i feel like i've been using airbnb now for like ever i've never had any problems all i gotta say with their whole new campaign of air cover bullshit i'm sorry airbnb i'm gonna call you on your bullshit because this was a terrible experience um you know it sounds all cool and dandy they got you covered they'll help you find accommodations if a if a if a host cancels on you last minute i'm like great cool they'll be able to help us find a new accommodation well what air cover is is that basically if you get on the line with an agent they'll help you search airbnb like you would to begin with right to make this search so they'll like do a google search for you you'd be like, all right, that's it. Yeah, they're basically telling us all of the things that we already knew because we did a basic search on Airbnb. While this new place was a little bit more expensive, they were able to credit us like a little bit, but I mean- It was a bullshit amount. It, it, was, it was It was a straight up bullshit amount, yeah. which I'll be frank about because obviously if you're trying to find a month long accommodation last minute, which we don't like to plan things last minute, like no. we've planned our next, six months of accommodations yeah. like into the future like we like to plan ahead and you know with a week notice things doubled in price and we're like well yeah. we can't afford this if it's going to be double what it was before yeah. so it took a bit of finessing on my part the cool thing was is like they gave us a little bit of money which was like all right the bare minimum that's the least they could have done um, a cool thing that we found out too is you can message hosts and say like hey especially if you're booking long term um, accommodations, you know, if you message them pretty much last minute, being, hey, we see that you have a month long opening, you know, is there any deals or anything that you could do for us? Like, told them our story, the, the host of this place ended up hooking us up pretty, pretty nicely. So, shoot your shot is all yeah. I gotta say. I mean, sure. I, I did it, I like reached out to the Airbnb host and I was like, hey, you know, we would love to stay at your place, this is very last minute. Um, you know, this is kind of the situation that happened. Our other host had to cancel on us last minute, unfortunately. You know, we would love to stay in your place, but it is a bit out of our budget. And like, 
he gave us a way bigger discount than like Airbnb even did. So it was, a, it basically almost ended up being almost the same. I think it ended up being like a couple hundred bucks more it was for the month, but it wasn't anything big. So tips for that is if you are trying to plan something last minute, definitely still try reaching out to the Airbnb host, see if they'll maybe give you a little bit more of a discount, especially if you are doing a long-term stay, it might work out in your favor. Worst you can get is a now. Yeah. So Shoot your shot. It. Go for it. Shoot your shot. <laughs> Now that we're talking about this grand Airbnb, it's not that grand, it's just nicer than what we had before. Follow along and see what it's like. I will literally show you in a millisecond. So, here you go. Now that we've been in Utah for two, three months, and a half, almost three months now, what are some of the things that you've maybe learned, like favorite parts, least favorite parts, just like overall? You want to start off the positive or negative first? I think we should do like a like a positive, negative, positive, mm. like a sandwich. A shit sandwich yes. is what you're talking about. Yes. Okay, you cool. Do a shit sandwich. Got it. Um, it's very, very hot in Utah. I think that's, that's a positive. No, the, oh wait, the shit sandwich is like it's, negative in the middle. Yes. So you yes. gotta do positive. Positive, oh, okay. negative, positive. It's hot. It is hot as hell here. Um, did not expect it, especially with how far north Salt Lake is. Um, it's pretty much been 95 to 105 every single day. And I think it's rained once. I am so pale, like you can all see, like I'm just alabaster as they come. And the sun here is strong. I'm like already sunburned. It probably doesn't look like I'm sunburned, but I She's got sunburned. Yeah. <laughs> She's definitely sunburned. It's just really hot. I think we came here originally in October and we should have known like fall is a beautiful time to come to Salt Lake. I think fall and winter time is great. Summertime, it's just too hot. Like you feel like you're in the desert, even though like you're up in the mountains and it's just scorching hot. So yeah. that's kind of my negative. If you're into that, Absolutely, probably nicer if you have like a pool to dunk in every single day. Yeah. When it's nice out, we are fairly outdoorsy people and we came here with the intention of like going for hikes, going for walks, you know, biking, sort of all like just discovering new places. And we really haven't had an opportunity to do that, which is like, it's just disappointing because you know, we've been here for so long and it's we, hot. Wanted, we wanted to do stuff, but it's literally too hot yeah. to even go outside. Like it's a process, so. That's kind of a bummer. I think my sort of thing that I realized when I came here is three months is a really long time for us to like vacation somewhere, or if we want to call it that. Mm -hmm. For our next couple of destinations, we're probably gonna be staying for much shorter amounts of time. I'd say maybe like a month max. Um, not to say that there's not a lot to do in Utah. There's not a lot to do in Salt Lake City. Um, I just feel like it's very seasonal. Well, in the summer has been hard too because there's been a lot of issues with like some of the other national parks that are in yeah. like this state or like the surrounding states. So unfortunately, we only got to go to like one national park while yeah. we were Which here. Which I will say, like, was very beautiful. It like looked really great. It was just we hot just as didn't hell. we didn't prepare. It was super hot. It was hot as hell. And we wanted to go to more, but it's like <laughs> it's too like why would we go to a national park which is literally gonna fry again? Like that mm -hmm. doesn't make any sense. Or there's a shit ton of flooding and the national park is closed yeah. down anyway, so. I mean, overall, we had a good time, don't get me wrong. Like, yeah. I, I liked it here and it's- uh, Three months uh, is just too long. Yeah. I mean, the, the people here are very nice. You know, everybody was like super, super nice to us. I don't think we had any problems or anything like that. No. But um, yeah, I just think three months for us to be here is a little long. I don't think we need to talk about Mormons. No, mm -hmm. definitely not. I think it speaks for speaks for itself. If you come here, the center of Mormonism, you're gonna you're Mormon, Mormons, it's fine. It's cool. 
That's really all I need to talk about. <laughs> I feel like, you know, if you are a big drinker, like, don't come to Salt Lake City. Like, it's really hard to find, like, breweries and stuff. Like, when we, again, we're from Chicago, so it's really easy to just go to, like, a 4 a.m. bar, like, a 2 a.m. bar if we wanted to or whatever. That's not existing That's here. That's not a thing in Utah. Um, most things close on Sundays. A uh, lot of things are closed on Sundays. Like, like even... Yeah like grocery stores like things like that if you're trying to go out to brunch on sunday it's a it's it's, it's hard, hard to it's find hard. places that are actually open on sundays so if you are planning to come here plan ahead on your trip if you are going to be here over the weekend because on a sunday you'll run into the issue of a lot of things being closed which we've kind of just gotten into the routine of like sundays we know a couple places that are open yeah. we'll go out to breakfast and then just kind of chill and binge watch tv the rest of the yeah. day <laughs> that's been sundays which is like <laughs> which is totally cool with me just because again i know that we've got a lot on our plate coming up here so i know that uh we're gonna need the sunday recharges <laughs> for for the next couple of months here so but i think like some of the positives though is that this place is really beautiful like the mountains are great right the views are insane like they look fake half the time and i think coming from both of us living in chicago pretty much our whole entire lives it's been a nice like change going from skyscrapers to seeing mountains um even some of the rides when we're like driving along like some of these like windy ass crazy roads it's a really nice breathtaking view so it's a really nice change i just wish it was cooler and this whole video is probably gonna be me complaining about how hot it is but <laughs> I don't tolerate heat very well. My friends can vouch for that. Nope. I did not get heat stroke in Utah, at least, so that's a positive. Yeah. <laughs> three I mean, months is just too long. Three months is a long time for us. I mean, like, you can only go to so many bars. You can only go and eat so much food. And you can't go outside and you can't experience the, the nature and stuff because it's so hot. It's really tough to enjoy, you know, being here. Mm -hmm. um, that's not to say that we didn't enjoy our time here. I think, um, you know, we saw a lot of really cool stuff, but I am definitely excited for the next sort of legs of our, of our trip here coming up. Should we tell them what we're doing, where we're going next? Oh, like where we're going after this? Yeah. Well, there's like that mini blurb of where we're going, which we'll see for like a couple of days. But are you talking about like the big thing that yeah, we're doing? Yeah, let's talk about the big thing. I the mean, they'll get thing. the small okay. things. Let's talk about the big thing. There'll be like thing. a mini surprise that you guys will just see where we pop in for yeah. like a weekend. Yeah. After that weekend, we're pretty much selling our car and leaving America. We are leaving America for the foreseeable future. Okay. So Nick, do you want to tell them where we're going? We're going to be living in Europe for at least the next three months. So, super psyched about that. Peace out, U.S. Here, here we come. Honestly, this has been something that we've been talking about for a long time, the two of us. We just had the opportunities with our jobs, which is really nice. And Perks we, of working remotely, I think. It's now or never, right? Yeah. We, we don't have kids. We don't have any pets. We can work anywhere where there's Wi-Fi. So, so let's, get our let's go. We're going to Europe. Are you ready? I think so. Do you think you're going to get culture? Um, yes, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> At least in the future moving forward, like Nick said, um, pretty much all of our future travels you guys will get to follow along is we'll be switching cities out almost every month or month and a half. So yeah. get ready for that because we're ready I'm for it. I'm excited. I think I'm excited because when we've talked about this for so long is that you know it's been both of our dreams to kind of live in different countries and like now that it's actually like happening and it's a reality of being able to live in different countries in europe and like different places for like a month at a time like it's pretty insane like never in my life did i think i was going to be able to do this like especially with previously working as a nurse like yeah. that would have never happened so i am like super thankful for my job currently and like being able to work remotely so I mean, this is gonna be an adventure of a lifetime. I think it's gonna be really fun. I feel like it'll be reality once we like sell our car and then it's like, yeah, that'll you be got the, your suitcases, that's yeah, it. Yeah, I think that'll be the that'll be the, the reality check for us. It's like all we have is our backpacks, our two suitcases a piece and like that's yeah. it. I'm not worried about, I'm pretty, I live pretty minimal, minimally. I'm a little nervous about I'm more high maintenance, you. let's be real. I know I'm uh, more high maintenance. Yeah. I think I can do it though, but then at least like, I also kind of have the luxury of just like shoving some stuff in Nick's suitcases. Yeah, my suitcase becomes our suitcase. <laughs> Nick, do you have any room that's for a, suitcase? That's what Nick, you do Nick, on do a marriage though. <laughs> 
Do you have any room in there real quick? I need, yeah. a, I need, I need some extra fluids yeah. in there. I'm just really excited. It's not gonna hit till we are probably on the airplane and then we're already over there, but I think this is gonna be a really crazy adventure and I'm happy to be doing it with you. Yeah, I'm psyched. So we will definitely bring you along and make sure that we post every single week in our adventure. Are we though? I'm gonna try. <laughs> Let's get real. It got a little boring here, so we yeah, stopped recording so. for y'all and then we apologize, but Europe, here we come. Get mm, mm, ready. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that jazz. Really appreciate it. Leave a comment about what else you want to see on our, on our channel. Next week, Ange, Dog, and Don are coming into town. Mm -hmm. Nick's parents. So we'll show them around on the fun things to do in Utah, which you guys will then can get a little bit more insight. But thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye. Love you lots. Bye.